So I've started and stopped this like six times because I just keep fumbling over my words, but I just need to do it. So I'm gonna tell you what's been going on with Gallifrey. If you don't know or you've got bits and pieces, I'm just gonna do the whole the whole story from top to bottom. So about three weeks ago, I found Gallifrey in this room. I was working in the guest room, which is like five yards away, super close. I didn't hear anything. And then all of a sudden I heard Gallifrey making these terrible noises and it was just like the most heartbreaking experience ever. So it was a Friday night after five o'clock. So we went to an emergency clinic with him. You're actually gonna see him. Look at his little tail. Hi bud, where are you going? So we took him to an emergency clinic. We thought it was his foot, like he broke his foot or something. They did some x-rays and they couldn't really see anything from the x-rays. They didn't sedate him for them. They just put him under pain meds. So he was like moving around and obviously in a lot of pain. So they didn't quite know what it was. They're like, if it's a broken foot or toe, we just kind of leave it. The cats are super awesome. They'll hear, heal. And if you are hearing anything, it's gal for eating. So they'll heal and be fine. So we got pain meds for him, which really helped, and we kept him fairly immobile for the next two to three weeks. And he was limping a little bit, but it was seemed like it was healing and seemed like we were out of the woods. He's just going to do everything. He might use the litter box right now. He knows I'm talking about him. So about, what day was it? I think Tuesday or Wednesday of the last week. Um, Alex brought a plant in. If you saw my last vlog, I have a new plant that a neighbor is giving to us because they're moving. He brought it in and Gallifrey was in his favorite little chair and he was sleeping. So it spooked him and he jumped out of the chair and he started making the same noises again. And it was his other leg this time. And we were like, what is going on? I do not understand what's happening to him. So it was of course after five o'clock. So we thought maybe he just like stepped on it wrong because his foot wasn't healing. So we gave it a day so we could go to our regular vet. And we got there and they took x-rays and he was moving around. He was seeming pretty good, but they sedated him so they could get really good clean x-rays of what was going on because we had, I, I jumped apart. I'm terrible at telling stories and definitely about this guy. So we had sent the previous x-rays, the one we got from the emergency clinic, we sent to our vet because she lives in our neighborhood. So we got those x-rays and sent them to her just to like look it over and be like, it's something's really weird. This like hip area is kind of crunchy. Like when he walks, is that just him healing? So she saw the original x-rays and she was like, I think he broke his hip and I'm pretty sure it's out of socket. So we went in the next day, she sedated him, took regular x-rays um, like more x-rays focusing on his hips and come to find out he broke both of his hips. So the ball joint is connected to the leg. The ball part is broken off. So his leg, like they're still kind of touching, but when he moves, they're not completely together. So we think that he broke his left hip three weeks ago and he was acting fine. And so we had no understanding. I just feel like the worst like parent ever. I just didn't know what he was going through because he was he's scratching now. He was just like acting like this. Like he is moving around too much for the fact that he has two broken hips. And he's just like the happiest little guy and he just wants to be around people and he's just like the sweetest guy. Look at him, do not try to jump on that bed. So I just feel awful because I didn't know what he was going through. So he broke both of his hips and one was one was out of socket. So when she was taking the x-rays, she didn't know it was fully out of socket. She had the understanding, but when she was positioning his hips, it basically popped back into place. So that's why he's moving around because I think he feels already so much better. And so we have more pain medicine and everything and he's actually scheduled to go into surgery in a week. Since it's not life threatening, they had to push it back for, you know, obviously other animals who are in more need. So he will be going into surgery to fix both of his hips. And they say that it's a fairly routine procedure and it, he'll heal super fast and he'll be basically back to his full mobility when it's all said and done. That is what's going on with Gallifrey. And it's just been exhausting. Like, I've told you guys, but like we've been sleeping on the floor with him the first couple of nights after he injures himself. He 
wants to keep doing stuff like he just is such a people person people cat and he just doesn't like being um forced to stay in a room like this so i have been working in this room with him even on the floor with him so he has someone by him and um, alex actually went to his parents for easter weekend and i stayed here because i don't I don't want him to be alone and I don't want something else to happen because obviously he's injured so any sort of wrong movement and he could hurt himself even more but he, dude's just like walking around so it's just that's what's been going on it's been really distracting for us but he's gonna be okay and he's a very very strong cat like people cannot believe how much he's been moving on broken hips it's just it's unbelievable how strong he is so he's gonna be okay and thank you guys so much for all of your kind wishes and responses and just reaching out to see what's new with him i know you guys just even though you haven't got to actually meet him you love him from afar and i really appreciate that and we're gonna be okay it's just gonna it's just gonna take a little bit and what's even harder is that the surgery is the monday before the Thursday that I go to go wild. So of course Alex is gonna be here for him, but Gallifrey's like my baby. Like TARDIS is very much Alex's cat and Gallifrey's very much mine. So it's just breaking my heart every time to see him. Like he's just trying so hard to be just a happy little cat and he wants to play and it's just like, oh, another thing. The x-rays showed that he was basically preconditioned to have this issue. So if it wasn't going to be now, it would have been later in his life. He was going to um, break his hips, basically. So it's actually in a weird, really sadistic way. Fortunate that he broke them at the same time because then he can have one surgery and one healing time and should be good to go. So it's not genetic. It was very much just him he's just a special little guy with this little issue that little issue that will get uh solved shortly so long long rambly bit i'm not one for these but i uh, really wanted to tell you guys what was going on because you all have been super supportive but let's continue on with the vlog and um oh so the footage you saw in the beginning was him at the vet the um when we, right before we found out that he broke both of his hips so all right Let's, uh, let's get this Sunday going. So the Easter egg hunt is gonna be over by the time you see this video, but every year I do a egg hunt on the website where I put little eggs on top of listings and those listings are super discounted. And if you find all the listings, you get either the sampler, well, everyone gets the sampler if they find the eggs, but like the top 10 people get an extra special goodie. So I wanted to show you guys the sampler because I think it turned out really cute. And then of course it says, thank you for participating in the fourth annual. How crazy is that? I've done one every single year so far. So it's, <clears throat> wow. So it's Wednesday afternoon and I'm just about to head out to a chamber after hour event that I am volunteering at. I better find my words by the time I get there because I just have not been speaking well today. And I wanted to show you my outfit because Lakin is gonna make fun of me. <laughs> it's a blazer, of course, but then I have this like flower shirt from the loft and I'm wearing this enamel pin today. I think it's gonna be a really fun statement piece, but I'm very excited because today is the day that I'm getting this bag tangled around my keys, but it's the day that I'm bringing my pineapple bag out into the world. So this is like a super, super, super early sneak peek. I made sure to get it way in advance to make sure I liked it, but that is gonna be part of the July box. And I'm, I'm taking it out in the world today. I'm very excited, uh, but I also feel really ridiculous at the same time. Gallifrey update, he's doing pretty well. Like it's insane how strong cats are, but we definitely still have him scheduled for his surgery next week. And he's just taking it easy, sleeping a lot being adorable, you know, usual cat stuff. So I'm back from the chamber after hours event. Got a ton of compliments on my bag, so that was really awesome. This was one of the first events that I've gone without Alex, and it's always so much easier to go to these things with him because I think we just like 
bounce off each other really well. His extrovertedness always supports my introvertedness and we work really get well together. But I, I had a lot of fun. It was at a um, brewery, of course. It's Grand Rapids. It's always at a brewery. And the food was super tasty. It was called Gravity. So just a fun fact about that. Obviously, you don't know what it looks like. I could be lying to you. Don't trust me. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I am home now. Alex is gone at his networking thing probably until nine. So I might play some Xenoblade. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's on the Switch. It's super fun. If you have a Switch, check it out. X-E-N-O Blade. It's awesome. And might start packing for go wild, like officially. I don't know. I don't know. I... I do need to put the May boxes together. The postcard came in today and the boxes are going live, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday. So I will show you guys that process in the next vlog because then it'll go up on Friday the day before the box goes live or maybe I won't vote. I don't know. I have too much content for next week, Wednesday. I think currently I have two videos going up, a possible third, so I need to figure out that you don't care. I don't even know why I'm telling you this because I'm alone in my house and I want someone to talk to.